Every day, each one of us plays two characters, the everyday self, distracted and consumed by the mundane, and the higher self, an elevated consciousness that calmly observes, understands, and guides. These characters, though seemingly distinct, are different facets of a single entity, intricately woven together. Just like a majestic lighthouse, the higher self stands tall, unwavering, and radiates a perpetual beacon of wisdom and truth. However, amidst the continuous clamor of everyday thoughts, this guiding light often goes unnoticed and unacknowledged, waiting patiently to be discovered. Differentiating the higher self from the incessant chatter of everyday thoughts is not just a philosophical exercise, but a crucial step towards achieving a mind in harmony with the universe. Like tuning a radio to catch a specific station, recognizing and aligning with our higher self allows us to receive its wisdom clearly and directly. This is no mere mental game. It's the path to experiencing your life at its highest potential. Our task becomes abundantly clear. We must learn to distinguish the noise from the signal, the everyday thoughts from the resonant voice of our higher self. By understanding this fundamental truth, you are standing at the precipice of a profoundly life-altering journey, a transformative path of recognition and deep connection with your higher self. Although the road may appear daunting at times, the rewards that await you are truly immeasurable, aligning with the present moment. When was the last time you felt fully, truly present in the moment? The higher self exists in this plane, the plane of pure, unadulterated presence. Its voice is clearest when we are fully aligned with the now, devoid of past regrets or future anxieties. This isn't a fleeting moment of mindfulness. This is a perpetual state of awareness, of being one with each passing moment. Our higher self doesn't dwell in the past or future, but in the ever unfolding present. It's like a boat sailing smoothly on the vast ocean of now, unburdened by the weight of past baggage or the uncertainty of the future. It simply exists moment to moment in complete sync with the rhythm of the universe, the only time when life truly happens. The past is but a memory, and the future an idea yet to materialize. The higher self understands this profound truth. It realizes that by being fully present, we're able to engage deeply and authentically with life. So how do we align with the present moment? It's not as elusive as it might seem. It starts with a simple decision to become more aware, more observant of the world around you. It's about experiencing rather than just doing, savoring each moment as it comes and letting go of the need to control what's next. Take a moment to quiet your mind, focus on your breath and simply be. As you do this, you're slowly but surely tuning into the frequency of your higher self aligning with the present moment and unlocking a new level of understanding and living. Present focused thoughts and words are akin to a spotlight, illuminating the path to clear communication with your higher self. This form of communication doesn't involve complex rituals or cryptic languages. It is as simple and natural as the rhythm of your breath, yet as profound as the universe itself. When you focus on the present, you remove the noise of past regrets and future anxieties. You peel back the layers of distractions that so often cloud our minds. This uncluttered mental space becomes a fertile ground for clarity, where the voice of your higher self can echo clearly and be heard distinctly. Consider the mighty oak tree standing tall in its grandeur. The oak doesn't worry about the leaves it shed last autumn, nor does it fret about the acorns it will produce next season. Its focus is on the present, on the now. It stands unflustered in the face of time, resilient and rooted deeply in the present moment. In such a state, 
the oak communicates effortlessly with nature in a language that transcends words. As the wise Lao Tzu once said, if you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. So make peace with the present moment. Tune into it as you would tune into your favorite radio station. In that frequency of present focused thoughts and words, the communication with your higher self becomes as clear as a melodious song on a quiet night. Embracing your current realities is paramount in forming a connection with your higher self. It is like a river flowing into the ocean, seamlessly merging with the vast expanse of wisdom that your higher self embodies. Each reality, be it a joyous celebration or a painful lesson, is a stepping stone leading you closer to the wisdom of your higher self. Think of the experiences in your life as chapters in a book. Each chapter, despite its unique narrative, contributes to the development of the plot, shaping the story as a whole. Similarly, every experience in your life, regardless of its nature, propels you towards growth, towards the wisdom of your higher self. But how does one embrace current realities, especially when they're challenging or painful? The answer, as echoed by numerous spiritual leaders and philosophers, lies in acceptance. Acceptance is not about resignation or surrender. It's about acknowledging the present without judgment, understanding its transitory nature. It's about realizing that every moment, good or bad, passes. The American author and motivational speaker, Wayne Dyer, said, one of the most important decisions you'll ever make is choosing the kind of universe you exist in. Is it helpful and supportive or hostile and unsupportive? Your perception shapes your reality. When you greet each moment with acceptance, you align yourself with the supportive universe, opening up the channels of communication with your higher self, expanding your spiritual consciousness. Life is an intriguing mosaic of experiences, a winding path of spiritual growth and discovery. It is a journey, not a destination. Each step you take, every experience you encounter, is an opportunity to expand your spiritual consciousness. Just as a seed needs water, sunlight, and nurturing to grow into a flower, your spirit requires awareness, wisdom, and love to fully bloom. But where does this awareness come from? It comes from recognizing the silent whispers of your higher self amidst the clamor of your daily life. It comes from discerning the subtle nudges, the intuitive hints that guide you along your spiritual path. Renowned spiritualist Rumi once said, what you seek is seeking you. This profound statement reflects the essence of spiritual consciousness. Your higher self is constantly communicating with you, sending you messages, guiding you, and seeking your attention. However, the onus is on you to tune into this divine frequency to cultivate the awareness necessary to discern these messages. This awareness is not an overnight phenomenon. It is cultivated through mindfulness, through consciously choosing to observe your thoughts, emotions and experiences from a place of detached compassion. It's about taking off the glasses of judgment and seeing your reality for what it truly is, a series of lessons designed to facilitate your spiritual growth. So how do you expand your spiritual consciousness? How do you cultivate this awareness? It starts with changing your perception, with seeing life as a journey of spiritual evolution guided by your higher self. It requires embracing a mindset of learning and growth, acknowledging that every experience, be it a triumph or a setback, is a stepping stone towards spiritual enlightenment. As you journey through life, remember, your higher self is not separate from you. It is you, the most authentic, wise and loving part of you. It is the beacon of light guiding you through the foggy realms of confusion and doubt. All you need to do 
is tune into its frequency, cultivate the awareness to discern its messages and trust in its guidance. As you do, you'll find your spiritual consciousness expanding, enabling a deeper connection with your higher self and a richer, more fulfilling life journey. Expanding your consciousness plays a pivotal role in understanding the guidance from your higher self. As you elevate your consciousness, you create a fertile ground for the seeds of wisdom your higher self imparts. It's like fine-tuning an old-time radio. You have to adjust the knobs, find the correct frequency, and then the static noise clears, giving way to crystal-clear sound. In your spiritual journey, this fine-tuning involves quietening your mind, brushing aside the constant chatter of mundane thoughts, and making space for the profound wisdom of your higher self. It's about transcending the trivialities of your everyday existence and tapping into the cosmic consciousness that binds us all. Think of it this way. Imagine standing in a room filled with mirrors. Each mirror reflects only a fraction of your being, showing you from a different angle. But what if you could step back, expand your viewpoint, and see the entire room, all the mirrors, and your reflections in each one of them? That's what expanded consciousness does. It allows you to step back, see the bigger picture, understand the interconnectedness of your experiences, and recognize the guidance offered by your higher self. Just as Rumi once said, the universe is not outside of you. Look inside yourself. Everything that you want, you already are. This is the essence of expanded consciousness. It's about realizing that you are not separate from your higher self. You are one. As you embrace this truth, you'll find that the guidance from your higher self becomes more apparent, more understandable, and more actionable. In the end, your journey towards expanded consciousness is a journey home to your true self. It's a journey of self-discovery, self-understanding, and self-love. And at the end of this journey, you'll find your higher self, waiting patiently for you to realize that you've been home all along. Listening to your inner guidance. Tuning into the subtle language of your higher self requires a deep sense of trust and openness. It's like learning a new language, one that doesn't rely on words, but on feelings, intuitions, and a sense of knowing. Imagine you're at a noisy party. The clamor is almost deafening, but then you hear a familiar tune playing softly in the background. How do you recognize that tune amid the noise? It's the same with the higher self. Amid the cacophony of daily life, the higher self whispers in a language that stirs something within us, a language that is uniquely ours. Intuition and feelings serve as our inner compass, guiding us towards our higher self. They are not mere random thoughts or passing sensations. Instead, they are profound insights that lead us to our true path. As Albert Einstein once wisely said, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. Our intuition is a direct connection to our higher self, a valuable resource that we often underutilize due to our excessive reliance on logic and reason. In a world driven by facts and analysis, we often overlook the profound wisdom that lies within our intuitive knowing. Our intuition can provide us with unique perspectives, creative solutions, and deep understanding that cannot be solely derived from logic and reason. It is a powerful tool that can help us navigate life's challenges, make informed decisions, and align with our authentic selves, and thus our higher self. When you're trying to connect with your higher self, a primary challenge arises from distinguishing the sound of your ego from the whisper of your true inner voice. The ego, like a petulant child, often shouts the loudest, vying for attention with its fears, insecurities, and judgments. It uses the language of comparison, competition, and limitation 
generating noise that can easily drown out the gentle voice of your higher self. On the other hand, your higher self communicates in a softer, quieter voice. It's the voice of love, wisdom, and infinite possibility, nudging you towards growth, compassion, and understanding. Unlike the ego, which operates in extremes of right or wrong, good or bad, the higher self unfolds the rich tapestry of life with its endless shades of gray, fostering tolerance and acceptance. The ego leaves you feeling drained, anxious, or discontented, while your higher self fills you with peace, joy, and a sense of harmony. It's akin to the contrast between the harsh midday sun and the gentle glow of a setting sun. It might take time to tune into this subtle difference, but remember, as with any new skill, practice makes perfect. The eloquent words of Rumi, the 13th century Persian poet, beautifully encapsulate this concept. Silence is the language of God. All else is poor translation. In silence, we find the space to hear our higher self, to distinguish its voice from the clamor of our ego and to follow its divine guidance. So the next time you find yourself in the throes of confusion, quieten the mind, listen to the silence, and let your higher self guide you home. Spiritual Practices The journey towards communion with your higher self is often paved with consistent spiritual practices that serve as a guide, directing you towards a path of self-awareness and intuitive strengthening. Consider these practices as your spiritual workout, a regimen that strengthens your spiritual muscles and enhances your intuitive capacity. Just as the body needs exercise to stay fit, your intuition requires regular use to remain sharp. Meditation, for instance, facilitates a quietening of the mind, creating room for the voice of your higher self to come into focus. It's reminiscent of tuning a radio, aligning yourself with the frequency that resonates with the wisdom of your higher self. Incorporating affirmations into your daily routine can serve as powerful reminders of your innate wisdom and potential. They allow you to align with the energy of your higher self, gradually shifting your thoughts and beliefs from the realm of ego to the domain of spiritual insight. By repeating empowering statements to yourself, such as, I am wise and capable, or I am worthy, you can tap into your innate wisdom and unlock your true potential. These affirmations help you align with the energy of your higher self gradually shifting your thoughts and beliefs from the limited perspective of the ego to the expansive realm of spiritual insight. Mindfulness, on the other hand, encourages you to engage with the present, to experience life in its raw, unfiltered form. It's an invitation to witness your life without the interpretive lens of the ego. By cultivating mindfulness, you begin to notice the subtle nudges from your higher self, the intuitive whispers that are often overlooked in the hustle and bustle of life. In the words of Ram Das, a spiritual teacher and author, the quieter you become, the more you can hear. These practices, meditation, affirmations, mindfulness, invite us into the realm of silence, where the voice of the higher self awaits. A steady commitment to these practices can transform them into a sacred ritual, a bridge to the divine wisdom within you. Conclusion. In our journey of life, we are not solitary wanderers, but carry the divine company of our higher self. This silent guide, our inner guru, is not separate from us, but the very essence of our being, the undercurrent of wisdom flowing beneath the surface of our conscious minds. When we bridge the gap between our conscious self and our higher self, we step into a state of unity, an alignment that resonates with the vibrations of the universe. This internal alignment is a transformative force, 
its ripples manifesting in our external reality, our relationships, our professional life, our health, and our overall well-being begin to reflect this alignment. We may observe that decisions come more intuitively, synchronicities occur more frequently, and life seems to flow with ease and grace. We also find that our actions, thoughts, and choices align more closely with our true desires and purpose. Stepping into this alignment, we embrace a new role, not just as a participant, but as a co-creator in our life's journey. Our higher self provides the compass, guiding us on our path, and we in turn have the free will to follow this guidance and bring our dreams to fruition. As we learn to dance in harmony with our higher self, we become active participants in the beautiful symphony of life. In the eloquent words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. This quote encapsulates the essence of our co-creator role, reminding us that our aligned decisions backed by the wisdom of our higher self have the power to shape our reality. When we learn to marry our human will with the divine will of our higher self, we step into the power of co-creation, scripting the magnificent story of our lives with each conscious decision.